Hello, everybody. This is Forward Studio. I'm Leo. Today, we would like to introduce you some details of Forward 360 separator in this video. Now you can see this next to me is our Forward 360 separator. This is a temperature set key. We will need to set the temperature, press it, and then get into temperature setting mode. This is an enter key. After setting temperature, press it to confirm. These are three groups temperature memory channels. The default set memory temperatures are 65 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius, and 200 degrees Celsius. You can also reset these three temperature values of shortcut memory keys according to your operating habits. These are up and down keys. Press this one to increase the temperature. Press this one to lower the temperature. This is a heating switch. Press it to start to heat up. This is a vacuum switch. Press it to start to vacuum. This one is out heating indicator. It will flash when the separator is heating. Not that if you want to use the temperature of the default temperature memory channels. One press the channel button is to see the temperature of this channel. Press the channel button again when the number is flashing is to confirm to use the default temperature to heat up. How to change the temperature setting of the default temperature memory channels? For example, if we change the temperature setting of channel 1, first we 1 press the channel 1 button, the displayed number will flash. Next, we can adjust the temperature which we want through the up and down button of the temperature setting. After doing that, press the enter button to confirm and the change is successful. Adjusting the default temperature to a frequent temperature can be more convenient and efficient. If you don't want to use the default temperature memory channels and you want to set the temperature, you can one press the set button, the displayed number will flash, then you can adjust the temperature through the up and down button of the temperature setting. After that, Press the enter button to confirm and the setting is done. At the same time, the default temperature memory channel which you used last time would be changed to this value as well. Now I'm going to turn on the vacuum. If you only want to use the vacuum but don't want to heat, you can just one press the heating switch. The separator has been built in an intelligent temperature control protector. If the machine temperature exceeds 120 degrees Celsius, the vacuum pump will stop working. You can see I set the temperature to 120 degrees Celsius and press the vacuum switch button. You can see the vacuum pump is working now. And what if I set the temperature to 130 degrees Celsius? The temperature is 130 degrees Celsius now. And press the vacuum switch button. The vacuum pump is not working. Another situation is that even if the machine shows the temperature does not exceed 120 degrees Celsius, but the set temperature exceeds 120 degrees Celsius, the vacuum pump won't work as well. For example, the temperature of the machine is 60 degrees Celsius now, and I'm going to make it 130 degrees Celsius. 
and you can see the vacuum pump is also not working. Because the temperature of the air pumped into the vacuum pump is very high, it may damage the machine. When we repair the mobile screens, the temperature is not necessary to exceed 120 degrees Celsius. And if you use separation in frame, we need to use this separation in frame mode. And we don't need to use the vacuum pump. So we set the protection device to extend the using life of the vacuum pump. That's what I want to introduce. Thanks for watching and hope this can help you. If you like this, subscribe our channel for more technical support videos.